Hi, this is Phil Chandler. Today I'm going to talk to you about this. This being a special tool for top bar hive beekeepers. And I'm going to test it out on this colony here, which is mostly a very uh, manageable colony. They're a little bit lively today and they're buzzing around my head, so I'm just going to put a veil on. Okay, so I've got my veil on now, so that just stops them uh, seeing my face. The rest of me doesn't matter much. Um, here we are. This is the tool. It's a, um, it's about, uh, it's just over a foot long, I suppose. It's got a blade at this end, and the blade has two edges to it. So it's got an edge in that direction and a, an edge in that direction. So it's a pull or push tool, and its principal um, use is for detaching. Uh, comb from the from the sides of the hive, as I'll hopefully show you. It has other uses as well. It's intended to be a a multi-purpose tool, and um, obviously the first thing we need to do when we're doing any sort of inspection on a hive is to uh, part the the top bars from each other. So this this the, this action here, just popping the blade in between the bars and turning it, uh, detaches the. Um, in this case, the, the follower board from the first bar. Um, here we go again. You can see I put the, the tool in, turn it, nicely, quietly detaches the bar from the next one. It will also operate very effectively, I think, as a, a propolis scraper. I'm just, uh, just going to take the, um, the little bit of propolis off this bar. As you can see, it works very well like that. And I can scrape the... Uh, scrape the edge of the follower board here as well it works very well for that purpose but the main thing about this is that it allows you to reach into a hive which I shall show you I'll just move these guys along a bit it allows you to reach into the hive without putting your hand in it and you can then if you can see this you can use the hook end of it as it were the blade end to hook around any attachments that are along the side of the comb and because it's reasonably sharp it will cut through those attachments there we go and allow you then to cleanly lift out the the bar and so i can now part this bar from the from its neighbor so, and I can move these bars apart to, to check what's down in between them. Now, I'm not going to do a, a full inspection on this because I don't need to right now. Just closing up this carefully so I don't squash any bees. This, this tool uh, has been sent to me for, for uh, if you like, testing purposes. It's, uh, it's more or less a prototype of the... Um, of the what may become the production model uh, it's hand forged by a proper blacksmith so it's uh, it's real iron I think it's mild steel to be to be accurate it's not it's not it's not case or through hard hardened or anything like that so it's very easy to um, sharpen the blade with a file or a stone it's not going to take a, a fine edge of course because um, it's, it doesn't need to essentially because we're dealing with a a material that is uh, soft and malleable so we don't need to have anything that's razor sharp um, I mean it's sharp enough to cause you an injury if you're clumsy with it and, and, and no doubt I will succeed in injuring myself at some point with it but um, as a safety measure you can simply put on a little uh, what I've done here is just a this is just a length of um, foam pipe insulation uh, that that is enough to, to, to make it safe it's got a loop at this end so you can hang it from something should you choose to uh, probably not your belt because well for obvious reasons I think it's a very useful tool I think uh, if I was to say well how would you improve it I would say possibly as supplied from the blacksmith I would I would describe the blade as ground but not sharpened okay so it's ground to a blade form but it's not actually uh, sharpened on a stone, it's sharpened on a, on a grinder by the look of it, uh, which is absolutely fine, but if you want to refine it slightly with a file or a stone, then obviously, yes, you can do that, and I think I will do that. Um, there's nothing else I can say that's, uh, that would be in any way detrimental to it. It just does the job very well. 
Um, the blade is strong enough not to suffer any, any real damage in use, I think. Um, it's sharp enough and, and can be enhanced with a, with a file, as I say. Uh, sharp enough for the job, for sure. It has at least three purposes. Uh, one is to scrape propolis, one is to, to, oh. to detach um, attachments, and the other to simply lever bars apart. So it's versatile and it's really the only hive tool a top bar beekeeper needs. If it goes into production, it's likely to be, uh, the cost is likely to be less than £20. So for a handmade blacksmith made tool, that's a pretty good bargain, I reckon. And probably it's of use to people who keep worry hives as well, at least especially if you um, don't use frames in your worry hive. So there you go, that's, uh, that's the tool. If you are interested in it, if you're interested enough to, to want one yourself, and I think if you're a top bar user, you probably should be. Just leave a note below in the comments and let me know. Uh, let me know uh, what, um, what you think. And if you think that you might find one useful, let me know. Um, and I will pass that information on to the blacksmith and he will do with it as he will. Um, and hopefully they'll, he'll start producing them and, and he can start selling them, which would be nice. And so there you go, that's my review of this little tool. And there it is without its cover. So, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you found that useful. And um, see you in the next one.